Fermi symbol, which is just less than zero. So it's less than zero everywhere it's negative, which are these two. So that would be from negative three to negative two union negative two to one. I didn't include negative two because that negative two is undefined. Now, they gave us the picture, and we can see that it is below the x-axis in here. Oops. And notice that's from negative 3 to negative 2. Didn't include negative 2 because that's a masking place. And then negative 2 to 1, just like we have. So it was just verified by a picture, which is good. We wouldn't want it to be something totally different. Okay. So these are just more of the same. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to skip down to the bottom, just so we can be sure and know how to do this one. Not that I won't do the ones on the top too. I'm just making sure we got this. Okay, when you have X's on both sides, you need to put them all on one side. So I'm going to move this one over there. So I'm just going to subtract it. So that's 3 over x plus 2 minus 2 over x minus 1. And if I move that over, then what's left is 0 on the right-hand side. Now, if you have two fractions that you're adding or subtracting, then you can do the butterfly method or the bow tie method, whatever you call it. So I'm going to do 3 times x minus 1. Then there's already a minus sign in between them, so minus. Then we do 2 times x plus 2. And then over the two multiplied on the bottom, x plus 2 times x minus 1. Okay, so on top, that would be 3x minus 3 minus 2x minus 4. I have to distribute. Now I'm not going to multiply the bottom because remember the whole thing is we're going to factor it anyways. So it makes sense. So 3x minus 2x is x. So negative 3 minus 4 is minus 7.
So I know it's actually equal to zero where the top equals zero as long as nothing cancels, which nothing does cancel on top and bottom. So it actually equals zero there. So that's why I went ahead and put a box around it because this is less than or equal to zero. And then x plus 2 and x minus 1. So these two don't actually equal 0, but it's where it's undefined. Okay, so we can set up a number line. So we can get a two, positive one, and seven. So let's do negative three. Thank you, Jose. Zero, two, eight. Now we're, we're going to actually plug these numbers in, which is over here. just to see if they're positive or negative. Now notice, if I plug in negative three into that top, that's gonna to be a negative on top. And I plug in negative three on bottom, I'm gonna get negative times a negative, so that's positive. ends up being a negative over a positive. So plug in zero, get a negative on top, because zero minus seven is negative seven, and I get a positive times a negative. So a negative over a negative is positive. If I plug in two, I'm gonna get a negative Positive times positive. So that's a negative. So if I plug in eight, I get a positive over a positive. And we look back. Here again, we want to know where that's less than or equal to zero. Well, the only place it's equal to zero is at seven. Everything else it's not. So it's where it's negative and where it's seven. So it's negative from negative infinity to negative two. And from one to seven, and I'm going to include seven because seven was the only spot that it actually equaled zero. Okay, I think we're good from there. I know those top two are we didn't actually do, but it's the same thing over and over and over again. So if you want to go ahead and start on day 34 somewhere, the first part is just like what we did in class. And stuff. 